Today I am going to show you how to make small chains, super accurate P bridge adapter, battering ram, some green stuff sculpting, tow cable work, gun barrel construction, droid building, weapon detailing, tarps creating and other interesting stuff. Welcome back to the channel. As you probably remember last Monday we finished at this stage and now it's time to focus on super detailing of our model. We have already prepared wheels, trucks and the most important feature which is anti-slip surface. Before we get started make sure to like and subscribe. And many thanks to my patrons, you can also be one of them so don't wait for a better time because now it's the best moment to join the team. Just look at my website on Patreon, you can find the link at the end of this video and in the description below. Ok, let's get to work. Very often we can see IDF models without this element and more precisely these elements because there are a dozen of them around the entire vehicle and all you need is a piece of chain to do it right. It's worth doing despite the fact that it's a tinkering and during this the number of curses exceeds the possible limit. First check the photos of any walk around to see how it looks like in reality and how many links will be enough. Once you check it just do the job. I glued the side panels with super glue and of course I tested them before if I would remove the wheels for painting. I quickly painted the inside of the lamps which will be masked later, just a toothpick was at hand so I didn't get the brush dirty. Now something more sophisticated. Quick Wheel Company offers an adapter for towing engineer bridges. The kit includes one for mounting on the front and one for the rear of the vehicle. I chose the latter option but I'm not sure if there should be both on the model so that the configuration is correct. This set is suitable for all Merkava models available on the market. The first thing that is easily seen is the amount of the details that we have in the set. As you have already seen there are even mini screws that need to be mounted. All this makes the set one of the top add-ons for Merkava and it's worth having it on the model. The cast is very good, the manual is clear. In addition to the set there is CD with in action and details photos of the original, so there is something to follow. I replaced the handles because I didn't want to clean the resin ones which are very fragile. I glued the metal parts on a slow drying glue which additionally filled the gaps. Finally the metal shackle will be another addition to the entire section. Take a look at the building instructions. The battering ram isn't very common on modern tanks but IDF uses it quite often. This is another quick wheel super product to enrich the Merkava tank models. It was prepared in collaboration with Desert Eagle Publishing. I prepared all the parts but the manufacturer forgot about the most important ones. Fortunately after one email everything came within a few days and I had the complete set necessary for the construction. For this one it's very important to check the instructions carefully. Maybe it doesn't look complicated but trust me and do it when it's your first time with it. In general the quality of the parts is almost perfect. Minor work such as drilling a hole or sanding is standard so it isn't a disadvantage for me. Truly speaking is a small, highly detailed model. As a complement to the battering ROM I also used a set with a towing cable from the same producer. I heated it with a torch to make it even more flexible and after adding resin tips it was ready to be mounted on the model. Such a curiosity. I compared the Eureka XXL and Karaya cables from the set I used and you can clearly see a different weave. Karaya is definitely thicker than the Eureka XXL. I started checking my references and both seem to be correct. 
it's just that IDF uses different types of ropes. So following this trail I will also do it and put a rope with a thick strand in the front and the rope with a thin strand will hang on the basket of the turret. I modeled the cable setting based on the Merkava photos then glued it on the model with CA glue. It was couple minutes to prepare the antenna sockets. Of course, this is another quick wheel set, this time made for Merkava 3, but I used the elements that I had left from the previous project. I drilled gently the resin springs to fit the antenna rods in there. One important note is when making a model like this and when inserting the antennas, remember that they don't bend due to the material they are made of. Springs bend. Now I went back to the kit parts for a moment to make a basket for the turret and chains which are so typical for this tank family. Of course you can do it from a set such as Legend or Voyager and replace the balls and chains with metal and make them movable but I have done it before and this was so much work. I also made one from the kit like here and they look quite good. So I decided to save some time, don't strike a nerve and use what the producer gives. After a delicate polishing they present well enough. I will do something more in a minute but need to wait for the glue to dry. Therefore taking advantage of this time I decided to prepare small grenade launchers. One will be completely empty and the other will get a cover made of green stuff. Look how easily it can be done using just a little bit of it. I made this missing electric wires with soldering wire. It's perfect for this because it's easy to form. From the photos available I conclude that this is how they should be arranged. We go back to the basket on the turret. As my model is going to be presented as moved I decided to swing the chains a bit. It may not be like in the real world but it will certainly give the impression of dynamics.
Further work on the basket involves gluing the second towing cables to hangers and shaping it properly. It's not a difficult task, but it would be much more difficult using the poor quality rope that the producer provided with the kit. As for me, the replacement of towing ropes is the basis and 100% of my models have this done. Sometimes I don't even treat it as an addition, it's just unnecessary in my opinion, because for economic reasons producers will never add such a good ropes to the sets as a stuff like presented here. I finished the assembly by adding small chains to suspend the ropes. Another model in the model. The barrel from Magic Models Resin and Metal 2 photo etched plates. To put everything together this little instruction attached to the kit will come in handy. Generally it's not difficult but you have to be prepared that this one needs a bit more than a few minutes. While the main parts fit together perfectly and their assembly is very quick, the barrel clamps are much more time consuming and labor intensive. All this tinkering around clamps takes a moment of fuss and preferably with a magnifying glass. In the movie it looks like a walk in the park but I actually got a little tired doing them all. I am planning to do a separate episode with the metal bars but I need to collect some video material. And there are some nice models that I would like to show. Ok, here we have another Merkava enrichment kit which is the IDF droid. Legend Rose to the occasion has prepared a pretty cool set. The resin is in nice quality, a P set will be helpful for sure. The design is very easy the more that the photos on the manual show almost all the parts. The only thing missing was laying one wire and I had to guess how to glue it. The whole thing took me about 2 hours of work. And I spent this time well.
As the droid was a great set, this machine gun set is almost a total failure. You can clearly see the quality of the resin castings. The best option for this is flight into the trash bin. But fortunately the element that I care about the most can be used, although it's not as good as it should be. But ok, we need to make some improvements to our weapons. I drilled a hole in the barrel and also in the cover where I deepened the existing ones. In addition to this I added a few elements from the sets that I have left from previous projects. And after all that work, browning looks pretty cool. Later I will add some cables for electrical and manual control. Side machine guns are made without accessories. Now it's time to make some tarps. This time I left my favorite paper tissue material and used green stuff. Here I will show you almost the whole process of course at an accelerated pace and with some shortcuts, but generally everything will be clearly visible. First of all the white powder that I sprinkle on the mass is cocaine. Of course I was kidding, it's just the usual baby powder, thanks to it the mass doesn't stick to the tools. Secondly, for easy laying I use a brush and a little water which smooths the surface and facilitates forming. Third, I even use the scraps of material I cut earlier to form various elements that can fill the spaces on the model. You will see what I'm talking about in a moment. Fourth, I put pieces of unnecessary plastic and resin parts under the tarps. It may seem strange to talk about it, but I'm pretty sure there are purists for whom it's unacceptable. Ok, sit down comfortable, listen to music without my talking and relax. Don't forget about something to drink. Cheers!
In the box with the model you will also find a piece of lead plug. This is probably intended to be used as vehicle marking plates. For me it's definitely not a good solution. As we look at the photos this element is made of completely different materials. The deck is attached to the basket on the turret and a tarp is attached to it. What is interesting you can often see bends on it which can be quite easily copied to the model. A piece of plastic with two stripes on the edges will be covered with a piece of properly cut paper. Once the dimensions are established I will fold it gently in several places so that these characteristic lines appear. Not too tight but so that the lines are visible. We glue the paper to the plastic with CA glue and we have ready marking plates. All you need to do is stick them to the basket railing. Of course you can stick them later because it will be easier to paint them separately but I like to have as many elements as possible glued to the model so that's why I did it here. The pictures of real vehicles also show other versions of such plates. It all depends on what's on them. Proper names of vehicles appear there very often. Then it's best to do it from a piece of plastic because in fact it's a piece of plywood with a painted inscription or letters cut out from some thicker material. Just check the Desert Eagle publishing books about Merkava and I'm sure you will find something interesting about such markings. Finally, small chains will be the icing on the cake in the construction of this model. And it's built. Let's reveal the final result. I don't know if you feel the same looking at this model, but for me it makes a really great impression. Its size, shape and general appearance, it's just wow. Please let me know what do you think about it. Before you turn off, thank you for watching this episode. Next week I will deal with basic painting and markings. Subscribe to the channel to be close to my new videos and set your notifications. Please check the other movies I have posted on the channel and write a comment if you like something or not. That's all for today. See you next Monday. Cheers.